everyone, welcome to Edinburgh University. I'm Shannon and I'll be your virtual tour guide today. I'm a current senior here at Edinburgh studying middle level math and English education with a special education minor. I'm super involved in the Honors College, the Highland Ambassadors, and the Middle Level and Secondary Education Club. I am super excited to give you a tour today. Let's get going. Our first stop on campus is Cole Auditorium. Cole is used for any of our larger events on campus, such as honors events, admissions events, and athletic events. This is our art side of campus, where a lot of our art programs happen. So behind me here, we have Doucette Hall. This is home to our multimedia arts on campus, such as animation, photography, and cinema. Over this way, we have Loveland Hall, which is home to more of our traditional arts. We'll get into more detail with that later. Behind me here, we have our Alexander Music Center. At Edinburgh, we have men's and women's choirs, marching band, wind ensemble, and you can actually take up to three credits of bagpipes here. Fun fact, from an aerial shot, this building is actually shaped like a piano. So from down here at our level, that's why it looks a little bit abstract. The next stop is Loveland Hall. This is more for our fine and traditional arts such as painting, drawing, and jewelry making. Behind Loveland Hall, we also have East Hall. This is more for our hands-on arts, such as ceramics. Before we move on, there's a few additional facts I'd like to share with you. Loveland Hall actually used to be the old Edinburgh Elementary School, and we also have an art gallery in here that features solely student artwork, and a lot of art students on campus will actually sell their artwork in this building. Over this way, we have Doucette Hall, um, you can see the art that's on the building there. We actually did that for the 100th anniversary of the art department. There's also an art gallery in Doucette Hall. Here we have Hamilton Hall. This is home to our financial aid office, so anything with your FAFSA or scholarships would be there. Then we have our records and registration office, so anything as far as printing an official transcript, adding a minor, things like that. And we also have our student accounts office here, which is where you'd pay your student bill. Also in this building, we have our eSports program. So this is competitive gaming, if you don't know. Um, and this is an NCAA certified sport on campus, just like our other athletics. So we're super stoked to have this here. Next on our tour, we have Crawford. Crawford is home to our Office for Accessibility Services, our Veterans Affairs Office. A lot of our health and physical education majors have classes in here. And then our wheelchair basketball team also practices a lot in this building. So that's a very unique sport that we have on campus. Next, we have our Cooper Science Center. So this is home to our biology, chemistry, physics, and geoscience majors. And if you were to walk through the main hallway of Cooper, you would see a natural history museum, a planetarium. We also keep honeybees and we collect their honey. And there's also a greenhouse that is available for students to use for research. Right now, we are inside of Ross Hall. This is our math and computer science building. In this building, we have our math tutoring center. So on campus, we have tutoring for pretty much every subject in their respective buildings. So if you needed biology tutoring, it would be in our Cooper Science Hall. We also have 24 seven online tutoring through our student portal and everyone on there has a master's or a doctoral degree. In this building, we also have an on the go station, which is where students can grab snacks on the go to classes, such as sandwiches, soups, uh, pop tarts, granola bars, all kinds of things like that. And then also in this building, we have our IT services. So if you need any technology help, such as getting connected to Wi-Fi, um, on your phone, laptop, Roku, anything like that, um, help with your email services, things like that, they can help you out with here. This is Edinburgh University's Skybridge. It's great because it connects us from the more academic side of campus to the more student life side of campus where you eat and sleep. In the Skybridge, we have three of these emergency blue light boxes. So these work by just simply pressing the red button at the bottom and it'll connect you directly to an on-campus police officer's walkie-talkie and you can explain the situation, what's going on. Um, we do have a 24-7 police department on campus and they work hand in hand with the Edinburgh Borough Police so both can report on and off campus. Um, we also have a canine unit on campus which I think is great. Um, but yeah, our police officers are lovely on campus. Behind me here we have Hendrix Hall. Hendrix is home to a bunch of majors, so bear with me here. We have business and economics, history, anthropology, world languages, social work, criminal justice, and political science. I think that's all of them. Also in Hendrix on the ground floor, we have our ROTC program office, so if you're interested in that, give them a call. Then down across all the trees here, we have our Garing Health Center. So Garing has counseling and psychological services. You can get TB tested there for your clearances. And my favorite thing about Garing is they do therapy dogs. So if you wanna pet some puppies to get your mind off your schoolwork, um, that's always a great event to attend. 
Behind me here, we have our Baron Fornes Library. It is the largest library in Northwestern PA with seven stories, so that's pretty cool. You get a cool view from campus from up top. On the first and second floors, those are designed more for group activities. Um, the way the furniture is, they have group study rooms, different things like that for you to take your groups into. On the second floor, we have a bunch of important offices. So we have our Center for Career Development and Experiential Learning. So they can help you with internships, building your resume, preparing for interviews, all kinds of things like that. Also in the library, on the second floor, we have our Beehive. So this is a collaborative effort between us and other local universities to help local businesses get jump started, maybe build a logo for them or a slogan, things like that. Um, so they do cool work for our art and business majors on campus. Then we have our academic success coordinators. So they build your fresh, first semester freshman year schedule, and then they do lunch and learn programs throughout uh, the school year um, to do like study tips, money management, time management, different things like that. So that's pretty cool. And then we have our transfer and adult student services up there and our global education office. So if you're interested in studying abroad at all, definitely check them out. Next, we have our Butterfield Education Hall. So in Butterfield, on the first floor, that is primarily home to our special education department. The middle floor is mostly for our middle level and secondary education, and the top floor is mostly home to our early childhood education department. On the top floor, we also have our Dr. Mary Jo Melvin Literacy Center, which is a great space full of books and resources that teachers can take out into the field. Also in Butterfield, we have our graduate studies program office. Behind me here, we have one of our Highlands buildings. On campus here at Edinburgh, there's two main styles for housing. There's our traditional housing, which is in our Lawrence Towers, and then our suite styled living, which is in our Highlands. So the main difference between the two is in our suite styled living, it'll be typically four students, and in the traditional housing, it'll typically just be you and one other student. The cool thing about our traditional housing is we also offer pet friendly housing now, so um, your pet will act as your roommate there. Over here we have more of our Highlands buildings on campus and located conveniently right across the street is our Van Houten Main Dining Hall and located behind us here is our Pogue Student Center and there's a ton of stuff that goes on in there so we'll get there next. Here we have our Pogue Student Center. There's a ton of stuff that goes on here as I said earlier so we'll try to hit all the marks. Um, when you walk in through the main door to the left, you'll have three main dining options. So we have Absurd Bird, which is all of your chicken needs, then Scotland Road Subs, which is all of your sub needs, um, and then we have Sushi Dough, which is sushi, and people rave about the chicken teriyaki bowls on campus, so those are pretty good. Also in the Student Center, this is where the mail room is, so if you get a letter or a package on campus, it'll be on the second floor in here. We also have a movie theater in the Pogue Student Center. Um, this is where the fitness center is, so if you want to get your workouts on, that's downstairs. The bookstore is also here if you want to get Edinburgh apparel or the books for your classes. And then lastly, I like to talk about CORE and UPB. So UPB is University Programming Board. They do all of the fun events for us here on campus, um, such as tie-dyeing events, welcome weekend, all kinds of free things for us to do like that. CORE stands for Campus Outdoor Recreation Experience. Um, they do all kinds of fun trips for us on campus, such as um, camping, mountain biking, hiking. They do skydiving, white water rafting, all kinds of fun things like that. Um, and then I think the last thing I wanted to mention here um, is our e-bus service. So you can have a car on campus as any level of student, freshman through senior. It's a $75 fee for your parking permits. Um, but we also do have our e-bus service, so that'll take you around the campus loop. It'll take you out into Edinburgh to like Walmart, CVS, Giant Eagle. Um, and then it'll also take you up to Erie to like Presque Isle, the Mill Creek Mall, different places up there as well. Behind me here we have Mallory Lake. This is a five acre lake that was donated by the Alumni Association and it is a beautiful addition to our campus. Next we have our Jeremy D. Brown Human Services Building. The entire ground floor of this building is for our nursing majors, so they have all kinds of cool simulation labs there that they work with. And then the top floor is for our speech and hearing sciences majors. Um, going along with that, I always like to mention, we also have a deaf education program, um, and you can also get a deaf minor, deaf education minor that a lot of uh, speech and hearing science students will look into. So that's pretty cool. 
Our last stop on our tour today is Compton Hall. This is primarily home to psychology, journalism, and public relations majors. We also have our three media outlets on campus that come out of here. So 88.9, our radio station, our Spectator newspaper, and ETV, our television station. Thank you for being part of our tour today. We hope to see you on campus soon. Be sure to check out our website, edinburgh.edu, for more information.